Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away. Now as promised, from the showcase that you saw last Friday, I'm just going to have a good look and a little play around with the prototype of Agora Models 1967 Super Snake. Now first off, if you're impressed of what you see here and you want to get this for yourself, I've put the link down here and you'll see that throughout the video as well to the Agora Models website. And you can get this from pack one. As you can see, it's on the shelf there. I'm starting to build it. We just completed pack seven this week. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up here so you can see pack seven being built. Absolutely brilliant because we get to put the first set of tires on uh, and we completed pretty much the inside there. So uh, it's looking pretty impressive. And the other good thing is they've got an accelerated starter program. So if you want to get the first few packs uh, together to get up to to the stage that I'm up to now you've got the option to do that but uh, I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to just talk a little bit about the car and the model. So what you're seeing here is the first model from Agora Models that was launched at the beginning of the year. Uh, this is the prototype of the Agora 18 Shelby Super Snake. Um, there is two versions of this out at the moment, one with all the electrics and the one that you're seeing here. There's only two in the world. So uh, I was pretty uh, good that uh, Agora Models have loaned this to me uh, and they've actually bought this up uh, all the way up north to me uh, to demonstrate this for you now. Now, as I said, this is a 1.8 scale model of this very unique car. In fact, this is the only one ever built. Uh, the car was heavily modified from the Mustang GT500. Uh, it's made as a prototype for a new high-performance Mustang. However, in the end, the car was never went into mass production. I mean, the only one, which is this one, was ever created. In fact, the origins of the car was as a marketing stunt to test Goodyear's new Thunderbolt tires. These tires, characterized by their white rims, were designed for ordinary family cars. But could they survive 500 miles, averaging 142 miles per hour around the race circuit? I don't think so. <laughs> Shelby replaced the car's engines with a 427 GT40 engine, the same engine used in the Ford GT40 that won Le Mans. This gave the car a top speed of 170 miles per hour, making it the fastest street legal production car of the time. The car's twice broken the record for being the most expensive Mustang ever sold. The most recent time it was up for sale was 2019, where it made 2.2 million. It's thought that if auctioned today, it would sell a lot more than that. Following its most recent sale at auction, the Super Snake spent a couple of months at Shelby American headquarters in Las Vegas, where the Agora team were given exclusive access to photograph and measure all details of the car. You can see the photos of this visit on the Agora blog on their website, and I'll put a link down below for that. Using photos and 3D scanning technology, this prototype was developed. The prototype has been used to make sure all parts are accurate, and so some amendments have been incorporated into the final production versions since this prototype was made. I've been racking my brains as how to show you the detail of this car. And as you can see, I've got plenty of camera angles here, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use my phone and I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing when I go around. So I must make sure that I keep the phone stationary when I'm doing that. And the first thing I wanna look at are the tires. So as you see here, these are the Goodyear tires that I mentioned with the white rims. Now they do come on this side of the vehicle here. And obviously we're gonna get a full set of those tires. Now, as I mentioned in the uh, little showcase there, these tires are really quite thin, as in a family car tire. They're not like the normal Mustang tires. And if you look at the other side here, we have actually got the Mustang tires. And this is what the Mustang tires look like. Now, a lot of people have been asking about the tires. This was one of the questions that came up as well. And you'd be pleased to know that I believe we are getting both sets of these. So uh, we're getting the fixed set, and we're getting the limited edition family set. <laughs> As you can see, they're a lot thicker. It is also worth noticing with the tires that uh, Agora have actually just mirrored the tread of the tires as well. Now I'm just gonna pan over the car here just so you can see some of the details, the things that spring out to me straight away that we haven't built so far. I do love the antenna in here. I love the windscreen wipers and just looking through the windows, you can see we've got the steering wheel, but we'll look inside the car in a minute. Now when we lift the bonnet up, just like this, it exposes the engine here. Now, so looking at the engine, looking just like that. As you can see, you've got the uh, distributor in there, all the cables, belt drives, the uh, radiator there in the front grill, all the engine mounts. As a fact, I, uh, I love that engine mount at the back there. Um, if this was me, personally, I would weather this engine up. I'd probably add a few more details as well, but, I don't know if I will be constantly opening the uh, bonnet to look at the engine, but that's the engine there. Uh, that there is the batteries, takes uh, three LR44 batteries. But 
I'm just showing you some detail just under the engine there of the uh, alternator but pretty cool now this prototype doesn't have the electric so I'm just going to cut in some pictures here just showing you what the electrics look like when they're working uh, but it does have functioning headlights tower lights horn and it makes engine sounds as well when the accelerator pressure uh, pedals pushed uh, the steering wheel inside the car here also operates the steering of the front tires now if we just go back to the headlights there, uh, the two inner headlights were moved out to the edge of the front grille on this car to aid the airflow through the grille. Earlier Mustangs had these two lights positioned centrally, but uh, that's what they look like. Now as you can expect, all of this is made from Zamac metal, looking really good. Quite a heavy car as well, in fact the car weighs 8.4 kilograms when it's completed. Uh, give you some more specs, the length is 595 millimeters, the width is 232 millimeters and the height is 175 millimeters. Now all the instructions to build this are on the Agora Models website or you could go and uh, follow all of my instructional videos. But uh, let's look inside the car. So as you can see I love the details of the wing mirror here but we can just open the door there. Now to turn the electrics on and off here there's a switch here that will turn it off and on. That's how you uh, turn everything on and obviously the pedal is down there as I said if you press the brake pedal the brake lights will come on if you press the accelerator the engine will vroom vroom like that as a matter of fact if you're wondering where the batteries are if i lift the uh, bonnet up again i have put batteries in here even though it doesn't uh, uh operate the electrics in this car they're just down there and it takes a uh, free lr44 batteries there that's the cell batteries now as mentioned earlier the seats you've seen this in uh, uh episode seven of my build but the seats come forward and at the back you've got the uh the back seats there which fold down it's probably best again demonstrated in my uh, pack 7 video but you've got the roll bar and the uh, belts there looking pretty cool now as i said this is the rear of the car here with the uh, brake lights which i showed demonstrated earlier how they illuminate obviously the uh, bonnet comes up there and we've got a spare tire in there <laughs> looks pretty cool doesn't it uh, but do remember that we are getting both sets of tires for this so what that means is a gore will be offering a set of five standard mustang wheel sets rims with goodyear speedways for customers who want to have both styles that were used on the original car obviously the speedways as i mentioned earlier are thicker than the thunderbolts but uh that's what it looks like from the back let me just go down to the exhaust which again we did here in pack seven looking pretty cool huh and so that's pretty much the Shelby Super Snake absolutely lovely looking car and I can't wait to put this next to the Shelby Cobra which the team at Agora Models are releasing next month but I hope you like my uh, little play there I said I just keep opening doors up and stuff like that I mean just listen to that just that noise and they just close so perfectly <laughs> it's a brilliant model it is uh, but listen if you do want to get hold of this yourself still available to get worldwide just go down to agoramodels.com and you'll be able to uh, subscribe to this absolutely love this mustang i think of all the uh, mustangs as i said at the start this is the most unique one you're going to get so uh absolutely perfect model but listen if you like that video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care